Okay, good morning class. My name is Jefferson Torzeo, your professor for the day. So, so before we start our lesson, let's, let's all stand up and let us pray. Mr. Hernandez, can you lead the prayer? We have Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. All right, thank you, Mr. Hernandez. So before we start our discussion, I would like to tell you what is my role in this classroom. Uh, I want you to all please listen in my discussion attentively. If you have questions or any suggestions and clarifi cl clarification, please raise your right hand and just tell me what is on your mind. Are we clear? Okay, very good. So, uh, before we start, I will divide you into four groups. So, this line will be the first group, this line the second group, this line the third group, and that line will be the fourth group. So, <clears throat> so I will give uh, each group a envelope that has a jumbled letters inside. So, all the jumbled letters, you will rearrange it and uh, the clue is, you will see it in our everyday lives. So, are we clear? Okay, very good. So, the group that will first finish my activity, I will give them a reward. So, your reward will be uh, a one bouquet of chocolates and, and soft drinks. Are you in, guys? So, if you are in, so let's just start your activity. So, are you done? Okay, very good. Uh, so, who just finish, finish first? Okay, so group one says they finish first. So, as I can see, they are the one that just finished first. So, later after our discussion, I will give you your reward. So now, let's proceed to our topic. So our topic for today is all about point, line, and plane. Okay, class. Do you have any idea about point, Mr. Lanusi? Okay, Mr. Lanusi. Very good. Oh, uh, how about line, Mr. Hernandez? Nice. Very good. So, how about plane, Mr. Dimano? Okay, very good. So, as I can see that you all study what I give you, what I give, what I give you last, le yesterday. So now, I will, I will now discuss to you what is point, line, or plane. Point. Point is any location in space represented by a dot and it has no dimension because it has no length, no, no width, nor thickness. So, we can use capital letter to name a point. Example, point A, point B, point C, point D, and so on and so forth. So, next is line. What is line? Line are represented by a small italicized letter, but they can also be identified by two points that are on the line. For example, line M. Another example, line N. Next one is plane. So, what is plane? Plane extends without end. You can name a plane by either in a single capital 
letter or by at least three of its non-collinear points. For example, plane, plane J. Another one is plane KL. So in plane J, As you can see, in this plane, point K and point L. Okay? Understand? Are we clear? No questions? Okay. So, next one is, I will discuss to you all about collinear and non-collinear points. So, the next one is the collinear and non-collinear points. So, collinear, collinear points is points that lie on the same line. So, if you see a, for example, so if you see a line and there's a point here, here, and there, so it's what we call collinear. So, because point I R and S lie on the same line. All three points are, are, are all in the same line. So now let's proceed to non-collinear point. So non-collinear point is a point that don't lie on the same line. So for example, this is the line and this is point H and point E. So this is what we call non-collinear. So we have any questions? No? Nothing? So now, I will give you a group activity. So I will do, group you into four groups. So the room setup is row 1, row 2, row 3, and row 4. So each group will select a representative to answer the quiz, the, a question that will be given by me. So, the selected representative of each group will stand at the back, then I will ask question. The group that got the correct answer is step forward, forward until they reach the front. So, are we clear? Okay. So, question number one. Group 1. Wrong. Group 2. Alright, so please step forward. Question number 3. Group 4. Correct. And now we're done. So our winner is Group 1. Okay? So... For our, before we end our meeting, so I would like to give you a, an assignment. So, re research on the following. Postulate about points, lines, and planes. Postulate about, inter, about intersections of lines and planes. Okay? So, tomorrow we will discuss about that given homework and... We will check your homework tomorrow. So thank you and goodbye. Thank you class.